Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Mindcrack server. <laughs> ho 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 ho! Ah, what am I doing inside of a inside of a dirt pit with a bunch of sheep? You'll never know. But our fun is over. So let's head out of here. So I'm trying to get these guys wrangled up, not bread. They're not attracted to bread. Where's my wheat? Oh no. Oh no, where'd my wheat go? This is terrible news. Oh, I used my two wheat to feed them. Oh, man, I've been trying to get some uh, some sheep over here because I want to start building a whole lot of beds. What's, hmm, uh, haha, when's the Arcus Beef Buildmasters collab? <laughs> I'm ready when he is, but I can't hang with Arcus. He's too good. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get some sheep because I want to start building some beds and put a bed in, I think, pretty much every single house, except maybe some of the smaller houses. Uh, so we need some sheep. We need to dye these sheep because I want them all to be different colors. I don't think I want everything the same color. So I need some wheat to bring the sheep. By the way, we're going to do a whole lot of stuff today. So if you guys are good with a whole lot of stuff, then you will be happy with today's episode because we are definitely doing a whole lot of stuff and let me go back over there try to wrangle these sheep and bring up you know what I should do though before we do that is build a pit here so I can actually uh, feed them otherwise oh this might dig into my tunnel no it didn't uh, otherwise when I get here I'm gonna run into some problems so let's just go ahead and do this I guess this will probably be good enough I might eventually actually build a little um, like a a farm, not farm, but like a little sheep pen pad on the water there with the village so that it all fits in. But for now, these guys are totally going to be used for their wool. I did it. Five of them. Hopefully they can't climb ladders. Sheeps these days. Sheeps these days? The plural of sheep is not sheeps. I hope you kids aren't trying to learn English from me because I clearly can't speak it. Let's make some uh, colorful beds, shall we? Let's start with... Oh, I have five. That was kind of a weird number. No, no, no. Actually, that's okay. Because sometimes you get uh, one or two or three wool per, per die. So um, it's not a big deal. I just need more of these red flowers. Do I have... Do I have... I know that Fedrin gave me a bunch of bone meal. I may have used it all already. That is the only one I have. Ooh. Ew. And look, I didn't even get a red flower. Hey, there's a red flower. <laughs> and no red flowers. Okay, let me search for, I guess, uh, five more red, or four more red flowers. Three more red flowers. Uh, so I could dye these sheep. Found exactly what I was looking for. Five yellow flowers. Um, all right. So, let's shear these guys. Let's create some beds. You know, I wanted to try a fireplace inside one of these houses. Probably the bigger house. What do I have? Ten wool. That's enough for three beds. Math. It's one of my strong suits. Um, we want nine. Oh, I have some. Okay, okay. This is good. Everything's coming up. Millhouse. Seventeen. You guys are probably wondering how my little uh, spawner is doing. My my villager spawner, my villager breeder thing. Well, we're going to go check that out in a second. But first, let me place some beds. This guy, I have a theory. This guy in here has not left his house the whole time. And I've been keeping an eye on him. I don't know why. But... I think maybe it's because he's got his bed in here and that's all there is. So I'm thinking maybe if there's other villagers in other parts of the village with beds, maybe he'll wander uh, away or something. I don't know. I don't know. But there's a bed right there. Uh, let's put another bed. I think I want pretty much every single bed or every single house to have a bed. Uh, we'll put this one here. We'll move them eventually to better places when we do the interiors if we do these interiors see this one's this one's not gonna work we're gonna we're not gonna put a bed in that one we will put a bed in this one it's kind of a long bed I actually could even do like a second floor bed but let's leave it down here for now so there we go there's three beds there oh you know what all the yellow beds are kind of in the same area that's okay that's okay we should probably sleep too that would be very helpful one thing that I want to make today is an anvil because I want to add fortune to my pick because all I have but this pick is actually in really rough shape so maybe, well, we can we can repair it. We can totally repair. Wait, isn't there a new way to re the grindstone? Don't I have to repair it using that? Hopefully, Arcus is in the Nether. He's not. Dang it. 
I believe this. Oh, I just heard a chicken pop an egg. There we go. There's the grinder. I can't remember if the grinder. I know it's it can be used to remove enchants, but it does remove enchants. So I think I still need. I think I still need a uh, an anvil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I still need an anvil. Man, this game is changing too fast for me. I'm too old to keep up with this stuff. One, two, three, four. Okay. Speaking of too old, yesterday was my birthday. Well, two days ago, uh, when you uh, end up when you see this, two days ago was my birthday. Um, it was a really nice birthday. Re very laid back and relaxed. Um, really, really, really nice birthday. That's all I have to say. You know, me and me and Nighthawk, <laughs> aka Kristen. If you follow the House in the Home channel, you'll know that we are using her real name now. <laughs> so we might as well use her real name here. Uh, Kristen and I just hung out all day, and it's great. Cause, uh, cause she's awesome. She's, you know, she's my best friend. Marry somebody who is your best friend, because it's great. <laughs> Words of advice. All right, so now we got a fortune three pick. We should put uh, mending on this eventually, but we don't have any mending um, books, so we're gonna deal with what we have. Uh, let me. I'm trying to get more organized, guys. I promise. Look, I have a food chest now. I've put some stone blocks in here and stuff. Like I'm trying to get more organized. I really do need to set up some sort of um an actual organization system. Ooh, let me take this with me. We will put the slabs here. Nope, here. Well, looky, looky. It looks like he finally came out of his house. But he must have swam across. This is trouble. This is trouble. Yeah, that's the guy. So he must have just, like, come down here, fell in the water, and swam across. This is not good because I don't want them on the shore. <laughs> I want them. Maybe I have to, like, go around and, like, double up the height on the shore everywhere. That could be tricky. We're going to leave you here for now, bud, because you're, like, the test subject. But you're going to have some... What the heck was that? What the? Boats are so glitchy in this game. Anyway, you're going to have some friends soon, guy. I'm just going to go build a pit for them. <laughs> Trust me. there no, no villagers will be harmed in the making of this video. Maybe a couple. There's the pit of which we speak. Uh, I think if I just do this, we should be fine. And then we got to cover it up too at nighttime, huh? Yeah, that's probably going to be pretty important. Okay, let's just put a cover on it for now. Let's put... Okay, there is a torch down there. That's good. Let's just put a quick cover on it like this for now. And then we'll really cover it up. Oh, you know what I got to do, though? I got to make sure... So, I'm trying to bring these guys through the nether here. So, when they get here, I got to make sure they can't jump out in any direction. Actually, let's do this because this will be... It'll give me a little bit more space to maneuver. So I'll go like that. Okay. Like this. Okay, so like that. I think think this will... Man, oh boy, this hallway sure is a challenge. Boy, this seems like a tough cookie. I don't know what's going on. Are you in my nether farm? Okay. Ah, uh, let's keep that there. So the, the plan is to push them in here. I mean, not very uh, technical, but <laughs> technical, but there are some technical, there are some technical things hanging out over here. Boom. I built a railway all the way over here to the portal where I have the villager breeder. Um, now we just got to figure out a way to get them through this portal efficiently. I guess I could just push them through. Uh, I could use water and then push them through the rest of the way. I could do that. I don't think... Let me think here. The water... Why are the signs there? That doesn't make any sense. Why did I do that? Did I mess up? I totally messed up. Okay, you know what? You guys are free. If you guys want to go through... Yeah. Okay. Alright. Is that just what's happening then? Here, you can go too. Do you want to go, pal? Uh, where'd the other guy go? The, um, okay. That's kind of weird that they went straight for the portal. I don't understand how that makes any sense in the world of, of Minecraft, but fine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we're going to get these guys or this water flowing into there. 
Now, they're all on the other side, aren't they? Um, oh, you know what? I don't have any water nearby. Yes, I do. Okay, I've got that uh, water flow going down the correct way. However, it stops two blocks short of the portal. So, my options are move the portal forward or move the portal down. I think I'm just going to move the portal forward to, like, right here. I don't think this water is going to affect this portal at all. Anyway, let's go through here first and see how these guys are doing. They should... Oh, oh no. Oh, you guys gotta jump down. There you go, pals. Jump down. Jumpity jump jump. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I put trap doors there, they'll think that it's a whole thing. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's see if this minecart system works, at least from here. This is very early stages of mine carting. So this guy's in. Okay, you you can you can go now. Hey, you got a guy in your way though. That's a problem. That is a problem. Here, you go. Bam, off you go. You next? Come on, pal. Are you next? Are you next? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, that's not exactly what I wanted to happen, but whatever. Go off you go, pal. Uh, can I go right through this guy? I, I don't think I can. Hold on. No. I heard a pig take damage. What the heck? Is a zombie pig man taking damage? Is that what's happening here? Anyway, let's go. Are you gonna reach that? Yes, you are. Let's go back this way. Get this other guy. We have three more villagers. This is exciting. Uh, hey, little, little dude. Okay. That works, too. There you go. I wonder how I can set this up. You know what? Here, let me try this. If I do something like this... Uh, how am I doing this? Kind of like this. Right? And then... Then we'll have a... What happened? Ah, I see what happened here. Um... Yes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have these guys drop down a couple blocks here. Gosh, I hope there's nothing underneath. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll have them drop down a couple blocks. And this way, the minecart just falls. And I guess I could put some trap doors. Or a trap. Maybe even a ladder here. Would that work for me? Just something like that. That'd probably work, right? So, you know what? Maybe I won't even... Maybe I won't even bother bringing them to the overworld. Because as long as they're over here, they're safe. Right? Uh, please let me know in the comments if I have that correct or incorrect. I hope it is correct. So as long as they're here, I can break this. And this little guy is not going to climb that ladder. And he's going to be safe in here. I think. He's probably safer in here than he is in the overworld. Okay, so let's get those other two guys. And let's make... Do I have any... Here, let's go back. I got a couple ideas. Where'd the other guy go? Is he still... Out and about? <gasps> you're trying to get to your bed, but you're stupid. Oh, this is going to be trouble. He doesn't know how to get back in his bed. I wonder. I wonder. Let's see if we can't figure out what will make him realize. So how about that? Is that going to make you realize how to get in your bed? Or are you just going to... Is you Are you too far away? Can I push you? Can I push you, little buddy? Little fishing buddy? My little buddy fisherman? Huh? Frank Frank the fisherman? Frank the fisherman pal? Pal o' mine, Frank? I don't know. I don't know if he... I don't even know. What is going on? Okay, I'm just going to leave you there. Again, you're experimental. You, uh, you can be... You can be destroyed. 
He's trying to get to his bed, I'm sure. But he is now coming towards the shore. And let's see where he's going. Nowhere. He's just he's just standing here. Anyway, <laughs> let me get a couple things. First and foremost, some chocolate trap doors. I'll just bring the whole stack. I know I won't. Here, this is probably a better idea. Just bring the 17. Not that it matters. It take the same space in the inventory. Then I want a butin. I think just a butin is enough. You need to really get your act together there, pal. Hey, look. One of them grew up. So my plan is to do this. Oh, he's in the way. Okay, move a little bit. Move just a tad. Oh, you sure? You guys sure aren't moving. There we go. There we go. All right, so if we do this. Now, we're going to break this. We're going to put one of these down. And then, I'm going to put a, put a butin. He, I can't put a butin there. Of course not. What is wrong with me? Uh, how can I control this thing? I guess, uh, I guess, I guess I could do this. Okay, watch this, guys. I'm, I'm a, G I'm a master of stuff. Uh, if I do this, right? So now, I mean, they're both on, so that's kind of a problem. Will he push them? Okay, let's get you out of the way. Maybe we try to do this one at a time. Okay, you're gone now. You're gonna come, you're gonna roll back to here. There you go, and now, get out of here! I don't think we have enough juice. Also, the button is activating <laughs> the trap door. Um, here's what we'll do. We'll break this trap door. We'll just leave two trap doors. Uh, the only reason I put these trap doors is so that the guys can, like, think this is a block and just walk right off. Uh, but it's not a big deal. What if we did... I wonder if they'll fall. Can I? Here, let's see what happens. Yeah, I think maybe they'll be able to fall and hit this button. I gotta reorganize this a little bit. Slightly different design here now. So I put the minecart there, hit the minecart thingy there. I need some more juice. Oh, man. Okay, I think it'll work better. Let me see if I'm in the minecart. Yeah, I think once... We, we gotta add one over here. Right? I think once we have one here, like a powered rail here, uh, things will work a little bit better. And then I could just hopefully just do one at a time. Because I don't really want to do more than one at a time. I got to get me some uh, some redstone. In the meantime, hey, bud, take a ride. Wrong way. Cool. Let me try this again. There we go. Or maybe it's the trap doors that's slowing it down. I don't know. There we go. This should do it. I hope. Let's go into the portal and see if we have any more babies. I think the maximum number of babies I'm allowed, or maximum number of, um, of, of villagers. Oh, there's another baby. Okay. All right. Now, will this baby try to swim against the current, or will he go right into the portal? They go right into the portal. I don't think I need anything. I don't think I need to move this portal. Now, let's try our system here. Okay, so baby, you're out, right? You are totally out. Now, let's put down a mine cart. Got caught. And there he goes! Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll move this one. Actually, I think if we put this, it'll still be powered. Yes. Okay, good. Good. So once he gets up here, he's, he's just going. He is flying. Awesome. So it works. It works. It works. I mean, I guess I could even trigger it with like um, a tripwire or something that when a baby drops in, this activates and then it just takes them. But uh, I don't think I'm that far advanced just yet. I am going to move the portal two blocks forward, though, just to make sure it is, it's 100% foolproof here that the babies will actually go into the um, portal and not try to hang out outside of it. Here we go. I even made it uh, symmetrical, so it's three wide now. Huh? How about that? Cool, huh? Now, is this going to put it out? No, it is not. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So now all we need is uh, another baby to be born, and we will watch this thing in action. Uh, there's a lot of, of husks here. I may have been building this 
kind of during the night. So um, I'm worried about the well-being of this village. I really don't want to get like, oh, what happened here? There's a floaty cactus. Oh, look at you. What are you trying to do? You trying to hurt the villagers? I hope not. Cool. Bread. Actually, I'll take it. One little short on food. Where the heck are these villagers? I know I saw a couple still alive. Oh, no. I'm worried about them. Guys, I'm worried about them. It's okay. It's fine. I'm sure they're... In, I'm sure they're great. There's a baby! It's going! Boom. There he goes. Oh, this works beautifully. Oh, my gosh. I'm so good at this game. Did the baby fall off? The baby is still in there. See, that's the thing that I want to avoid. But I guess there's not much I can do about that. He's got to just choose to walk off on his own. Come on, guy. Just walk right off. There you go. Keep walking. Keep, there you go. Boop. Later. Ha ha ha. It works. He landed on this guy's head. Sorry, dudes. One, two, three, four, five. We got five of them in here. That's beautiful. They're not They're not getting out. This is great. <sighs> I feel good. I feel good about this. Okay, there's something else I wanted to try today, actually. I want to try a fireplace inside one of these houses. I want to see how big and awkward it looks. That guy still has not found his way back to his bed. It's very, very concerning. Um, You know what? I wonder how that affects when you break their beds. I wonder how that affects them. Anyway, maybe we'll do a fireplace like right here. As far as I know, <laughs> fire does not spread with fireplaces. Ugh. And I really hope they never change that. I really, really hope they never change that. Um, okay, that's fine. This window here, we might have to move over. You know what? Hold on. Do I have this all goes sideways? So I guess this needs to go sideways as well. We don't need we don't need that many windows here. Oh gosh, I really hope the campfire does not affect any wood around it. Uh, and I really hope they don't update that in the future update because as of right now, I have no plans to fix that. Um, yeah, where's the strip? I don't even know what kind that is. Is that stripped spruce? Is that stripped spruce? Looks like it. Ah, uh, hold on. It's not it. It's stripped dark oak. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's stripped dark oak. Okay, good. You learn something new every day. Stripped dark oak. Stripped dark oak. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I, I, it didn't look like it from the uh, from the icon. I can't believe he hasn't found his way back to his bed yet. Come on, villagers. So, uh, that was an outline for a window. We'll do this. And, no, this one needs to go vertically to match all the other windows. This one doesn't have a thing? Well, uh, I don't really want to do that. And now it's gone. I want to fix that. This kind of stuff is what drives me nuts. It's, the, it's all about the details, guys. You know what? I think I want to place it here. Yeah, so that the handle is at the bottom, right? That's what I want? Yeah, that's what I want. Good. Okay. So we have one of these. It is smoking up to the top. Um, we're going to do this, this. We're going to do this. We're going to make some stairs. Okay. Some stairs this way and this way. That's going to be difficult. Per perfect. Wasn't difficult at all. Then this. Then I think we're just going to... Bust a hole through there. Do something like that. Which means we gotta bust a hole through the top part too. Don't want it to be super tall, but just something like that will work. And then at the bottom, I believe the best course of action would probably be something like this. Now, is that too big? Cause now we can have like some some chair, like a chair here, a couple chairs actually, facing the fireplace. You have a bedroom here, it's kinda cool. But it's pretty bulky. I wonder if... Hmm, let me think. Would it look better like that? No. I don't really like it like that. 
don't really like it like that either. This is gonna look even bulkier. Yeah, well, I guess we can we can leave it like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I bother adding fireplaces to these houses? I mean, the, it's, you're not gonna be able to see the smoke unless I make this hollow, and that's pretty much impossible. Um, so I'm not I'm not even sure it's worth it to be honest. We'll leave that one in here for now, and I'll let you guys decide what I should do. Uh, because yeah, from the outside, I mean, I could. That would have to make it a four by four to make the smoke visible through the top there. So I'm not sure how that would work. Where'd my uh, villager go? Did he fall in here? He did. <sighs> okay. You know what? In here you shall stay, idiot. Um. Yeah, because it kind of adds like a little, a little something. Like, let's try a polished diorite slab. I think that might look cool for like a little chimney detail. Let's see. Just something like that. So at least you know people live here. From the map, from the overviewer map, you can't even tell where this village is. It blends so well into the dark oak forest. It's uh, it's actually really impressive. But um, anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you like this idea or not. I don't know. I'm still not sure how I feel about it. I mean, I could just make a blacksmith with a, with a totally functioning fireplace or fire pit where the smoke actually billows up. Wow, I'm really bad at placing blocks. Where the smoke actually billows up, um, you know, through the building. I don't hate that. Anyway, anyway, moving on. And now the last thing I kind of want to do today was not planned, but seeing it how that villager behaved, would it be cool if I did something like this, where I uh, basically created... <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm talking so slowly. I'm just trying to think of, uh, of what to do. Obviously, I'll mix in some cracked and some... Uh, I don't think this needs to be a, a corner. I'll mix in some cracked and some mossy so it looks really good. But as a general idea, how would this look? I kind of like this idea. First of all, it serves a couple purposes. It does not allow the villagers to escape um, the water. Which might be good or bad. I have no idea. But another purpose it serves is it, it kind of adds to the lore of everything, right? Because they, they try to block themselves off to the, to the land. So they even put up a barrier so the land doesn't, doesn't encroach on their watery kingdom. Yeah, watery kingdom. That's it. I think I'm going to build a little bit more of the wall here. And, um, and see how it looks. And I think possibly... Yeah, it's always got to be too hot. Oh, wait. That's a problem. I don't like doing that. I don't like doing that. It's either got to go all the way down. Yeah, it's got to go all the way down. I can't, I can't deal with that. So tell me what you guys think. It shouldn't take any time at all for me to actually line the entire uh, pond or lake with... Oh, man. A fly just dr fell. Do you guys remember the time that a fly flew between my microphone and my mouth and you could actually hear it on camera you could, you could hear like a buzz on camera anyway that didn't happen now but uh, it just reminded me of it because the fly just totally like flew up and landed on my forehead it's kind of annoying anyway yeah it shouldn't take me any time at all to um to fill in this wall all the way around the island here especially over there that might look really cool with the wall about halfway up or something and then this thing sort of protruding above it that's kind of awesome anyway yeah so if you like it, I will grab a bunch of vines, make a bunch of mossy cobble, or not mossy cobble, sorry, mossy stone brick, and then I'll make a bunch of um, cracked stone brick, and I'll start interweaving them here and there to make it look a lot cooler uh, than it does now. And if you don't like it, well, then I'll just feel terrible for wasting your time. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, though. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.